doesn't have to be this way. When you're losing soil, you're also losing fertility. Everything you put into the soil is washed away. I can grow continuous corn on rolling land and get a good yield where I couldn't otherwise and save my soil. I'm sure that last year the moisture that no tillage saved raised a crop for me. The money I spend on herbicides wouldn't pay the interest on the conventional equipment I'd need. No tillage gave us two crops in one year. Let us make more profit out of the same acre. Last year, my no tillage corn made about twice what my conventional did. These farmers found many good reasons for switching to no-tillage. Chemical weed control combined with the right planting equipment enabled them to gain several economic advantages. Since climate, soil, and crop conditions vary so much, selection of the right equipment is a primary consideration. About 20 years ago, Alice Chalmers developed a practical wheel track planter. It didn't eliminate plowing, but it helped reduce soil erosion, fuel consumption, and many trips over the field. During the 60s, conservation-minded farmers realized that we need only a small area of finely tilled soil to germinate the seed. Alice Chalmers engineers agreed and developed the fluted coulter, trademarked no-till. No-till coulters can have either one inch or two inch flutes, or one inch ripple blades. The two inch is the most popular because it permits applying fertilizer ahead of the seed opener. The no-till coulter is mounted on an exclusive heavy duty rubber torsion spring. It has the muscle to hold the 17 inch coulter at the proper working depth, yet it protects it from rocks and other obstructions. Alice Chalmers builds no-till planters in several configurations. Perhaps it would be more accurate to say that we build many kinds of planter components, so you can customize a planter adapted to your situation. If you prefer a mounted planter, the 300 2-bar frame will handle your jobs. The Category 2 3-point hitch matches most tractors. Three and a half inch toolbars come in three widths for two, four, or six row capacity. Our most popular no-till planter utilizes the rugged 333 three-bar frame as a base. Three-bar design permits mounting no-till coulters on the front, fertilizer openers on the middle, and planter units on the rear toolbar. Bolted construction allows the frame to flex as it follows contours, without breakage, common to welded designs. The heavy wall three and a half inch toolbars come in four, six, or eight rows. Nine inch stroke cylinders provide high transport clearance. Dry fertilizer attachment with large 550 pound non-corrosive fiberglass hoppers can be used with no-till coulters on the 333 planter. Easy dumping permits quick cleaning. Spring augers meter fertilizer accurately. Two hoppers on four rows and three on six row planters provide good capacity and fewer stops for refills. Liquid fertilizer attachment with 200 gallon tanks and squeeze pump is also available. You have a choice of 13 and a half or 18 inch double disc openers to put crop nutrients exactly where you want them. Hydraulic markers have an automatic valve to alternate marker drop. For really big no-till planting capacity the 600 folding frame handles eight wide or 12 narrow rows. Six transport wheels provide plenty of load carrying capacity. Outer wings can float up or down 10 degrees to follow contours. A lift cylinder on each wing quickly folds it to a vertical position and reduces transport width to 19 and a quarter feet. A liquid chemical attachment with 500 gallon seamless polyethylene tank is available to apply starter fertilizer. Your successful management of no tillage crop culture requires accurate control of depth, spacing and soil firming. 
Alice Chalmers planter units are engineered to assure you that control. Alice Chalmers planter units are available in two types, air singulation and plate type. Both units can be had with either runner or double disc openers. Model 78 and 79 air planter units lead the industry in design, built heavier to bear the brunt of big horsepower and high speed planting. These air planter units bring the promise of air singulation to reality. The Model 78 has double disc openers to handle heavy trash. Sealed ball bearings have long life, do not require greasing. The Model 79 with stainless steel AccuRunner works in lighter soils. Accurate stands start with air singulation. As the disc rotates, low pressure air holds the seed in individual pockets of the seed disc. Air is cut off when the seed reaches the pad area. The seed is held in the disc by the pad, then dropped to the ground, just five and a half inches on the 79 series and nine inches on the 78 series. This simple design using a low volume of air replaces mechanical methods of seed singulation. Selecting plates is eliminated. You no longer need different plates for medium round and medium flats. Two seed discs will plant 90% of all corn varieties. Eight different discs are available for all varieties of field corn, popcorn, grain sorghum, pelleted sugar beets, acid delinted cotton, soybeans, navy beans, pinto beans, small lima beans, and many varieties of sunflowers. Discs are easily changed with a single hand knob. A cast heat treated aluminum seed housing is accurately machined for a precision fit of the seed discs. Seed monitors are included with all air planters. Monitors give you the peace of mind that the crop is planted accurately. A small blower delivers low pressure air for singulation. One blower handles two or three rows, puts low demand on the tractor's electrical system, and eliminates the need for an auxiliary generator. Quick change drive system has hex bore sprockets on a hex shaped hub. You can change sprockets without tools. Simply remove a lock pin. 71 and 72 plate type units will plant corn, beans, beets, grain sorghum, acid delinted cotton, peas, and other seeds. Smooth, precise fit of the plate and hopper bottom distributes seeds uniformly in the row with minimum seed damage. Oversized hoppers hold one and a quarter bushels and are translucent so you can see your seed supply. Air unit hoppers include convenient shutoff gate for easy removal. The press wheel is close coupled for accurate depth control. Wide spaced parallel linkage provides lateral stability and allows the press wheel to follow contours. Down pressure springs add 100 pounds of pressure to increase penetration and to minimize bounce in rough conditions. Gauge wheels for air units are located alongside the openers to assure uniform depth control. Disc furrowers clear trash, clods, and crust from the seed bed. Gets the seed down to moist soil for fast germination. Coil tine shank provides field cultivator-like tillage ahead of planter units on the 333 planter frame. The one foot by seven inch semi-pneumatic seed press wheel assures soil contact for quick germination and early emergence. A variety of press wheels are available. All are designed to gently firm the soil around the seed. For no tillage planting, the center rib tires are recommended. Granular insecticide and herbicide applicators have fiberglass hoppers that are easily mounted or removed on airtight planter units. Calibrated dials provide precise control of application rates. Applicators with metal hoppers are available for plate type units. A seven inch fan is available for insecticide if it is desired to ban chemicals. A 14 inch fan on the herbicide attachment helps prevent chemical granules from being blown off the row. Drive chain shield for air units protects the chain from tall grass and weeds in no tillage conditions. 
As agriculture moves into the 80s, conservation is a major concern to everyone who makes his living from the soil. No tillage is here to stay as far as many farmers are concerned. As one puts it, when you've gone this long without plowing, you hate to go back. Some of the advantages they see in no tillage are erosion control. Controlling erosion is a big factor for the men who are farming rolling land. They're saving their soil, keeping fertilizer where they want it. Soil loss can be reduced over 85%. Moisture conservation. Where drought is a threat, the ability of no-tilled fields to retain moisture gives them an edge. The University of Kentucky found 19% more water available in no-tillage crops, the equivalent of two inches of rain. Time and labor saving. Eliminating plowing lets them handle more acreage with the same amount of labor, helps them get their crops in at the right time. And if it's wet in the fall, they can keep the combines running in their no-tilled fields when it would be too wet to harvest plowed fields. On 1,000 acres, savings could be over $6,000. Land usage. For some, no tillage has made double cropping possible, where they couldn't do it before. For others, it means growing corn where it's not possible with conventional tillage, or growing continuous corn where they'd normally have to rotate crops. Equipment costs. Many are concerned about the rising cost of equipment and fuel. Eliminating the plow helps them to keep their machinery investment at a minimum and lowers fuel costs as well. Yields. These men have found that no-tilled fields will produce yields at least equal to plow ground. And some count on better yields from their no-tilled land in a dry year. Soil condition. Improved soil condition is a bonus too. After several years of no tillage, soil structure is better, they contend. There is a better way to save soil, water, fuel, time, and labor. No-till planters from Alice Chalmers, the rising power in farming.